Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon. Welcome to another episode of Stein's Gate. As we move swiftly forward through the show, um, the last episode was very interesting. Um, focused a lot on trying to find Suzaha's father. Um, after she explained, obviously, all about CERN in the year 2036 and how they managed to create a kind of totalitarian state using their time travel technology. And she was part of the resistance who had managed to, um, you know, create their own time travel stuff and, and go back in time. She was originally planning on going to the 70s to pick up one of the IBM computers, which I guess explains why she was so interested in it before we had any of these revelations come through. And, um, you know, she decided to make a bit of a stop off in the year 2010 because um, she wants to try and find her father. She doesn't know who he is, doesn't have a name. Um, she just knows that he is at that time period and she had a pin that he apparently owned. Um, now, Okabe went through the episode trying to, you know, identify who it was who owned the pin. Um, and he managed to, at the end, get a lead from, uh, it was like a badge maker, I think. Um, who he'd previously tried to speak jive to and just completely embarrassed himself. It was, it was cringeworthy, you know, let's put it that way. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of kind of, uh, history. It's weird because it's not history because it takes place in the future. So I'm going to say future history. So we learned a lot of future history. Um, you know, obviously the way that the world is, is very kind of controlled and, and doesn't sound like a very nice place to be. And, you know, CERN comes after anyone who manages to get their own hands on any kind of time travel devices or technology, which explains why, you know, um, Moika was able to, um, you know, track down and try and take out Okabe and the rest of the, the, the group. Um, so, you know, it's it's going to be something that we are going to... I hope we find out who the father is. I, I I was kind of stuck between a few people. Um, you know, there was a few hints that we were given from Suzaha, you know, that he was very good with technology, very good with time travel. And um, I was thinking maybe Daru at the end, because um, they seem to have a sort of connection and their hairs, their, their hairstyles are fairly similar. Um, you know, and he's very good with technology. Um, at first I was thinking it was Okabe, but then I was like, it's too on the nose, it's too it's too coincidental. And, you know, Okabe is dead at the time that she is in the Resistance. Um, so I think it could potentially be Daru, but who knows? Um, so yeah, the search is going to continue, and we're going to, you know, carry on finding more information about Sen and hopefully try and break this time loop that just sees um, Mayuri constantly getting killed over and over and over again. Um, so we're going to jump into it. Before we do, I want to say a big thank you to my Patreon super supporters, um, Frank Treble, The Lone Detective, Karen Abel, Raccoon Shampoo, Flawed Otaku, and Rich Affer. Thank you all for being Patreon super supporters. Um, but in the meantime, yeah, let's jump in and let's see what happens. I guess the dude kind of looked like a barrel. Like a barrel? Did he ever give you his name? He didn't say. And I didn't Daru. Ask, but he was round, I can tell you that much. Like a barrel. Gotta be Daru. Oh, taru is another word for barrel, you guys? Taru? <laughs> uh huh. It's Daru. No doubt. But hey, why is no one thinking about that? When it's done being made, right? When the vendor informed him it would take a full week, apparently he left without placing an order. There is another option. Mm -hmm. Maki say we'll have the time leap machine finished by tomorrow. Yeah, jump back. It's operational. <laughs> Jump back to the point where he goes and places the order, and I bet you it's gonna be Daru. Wait, that hat. It's Daru. Yeah. Daru. Seriously, how bad she gonna feel if we never find her old man? Mm. I figured I'd get another pen and fake being her dad. You know, give her some hope. Oh, he the wants hope to fake it. Of is based on a falsehood. Not all lies are created equal. Sometimes a little white lie can spare somebody's feelings. Think you know? about the bigger picture. We can locate her real father in due time. What if this is like a double fake out and it is actually him? <sighs> it's like a paradox. I'm not supposed to tell you this, but it's the only way you'll stop busting my balls. How goes it? Take a soda break? Huh? Awesome. I got me a wicked thirst on that only an ice cold diet soda can quench. It's like you read my mind, man. Well, do you think you can get it working? Should have it done by tomorrow. Check this guy out. We're gonna have time to spare. Daru's a cheetah when it that, comes to tech jobs. I see what they did there. Huh? 
the previous scene, he said it wasn't the the brand he wanted. I know Kabu went and got him the actual brand. That's very clever. It's subtle. Whoa. The time machine might be oppressive, but it's nothing that couldn't be fixed by stripping down to our unmentionables. Being a member of the future gadget lab, it was nice. Once she leaves us, she's gone for good. That's it. It's up to you now. You're the only chance we've got. I promise you, I'll do it, Suzuha. I'll keep the world exactly the way it is right now. Okabe, how did you? Because he's been through this before. Time you spent with us <laughs> wouldn't kill you to smile. Hey, you just fixed a time machine. Cheer up! No one else on <laughs> Earth can say that. Okay, what kind yeah. of seventy-five, you guys? Oh, I could go in this summer. The weather'd probably be pretty nice. What? Hey, Suzu, huh? Huh? What's up? What does that mean? Oh, I should have introduced you sooner. Future That's gadgets. Two o four. Future gadget lab. That's number two o four. That's the invention, number 204. It's either Okabe or Daru. Take the tires off and it's small enough to bring along. We knew how much you liked the Tarn thing. It's gotta be Okabe. Thanks, you guys. Only Okabe names the inventions, doesn't he? Detective Mayuri figured out who your father is, Suzuha, in just in the nick of time. Yep. Wait, are you saying... Suzuha's long lost father is Daru. Huh? That isn't the sort of thing you joke about, Mayuri. No, As she's got solid. Woman would ever actually... Hey, no need wow. to be mean. It was founded by you and Barrel Teeter, wasn't it? And Barrel Teeter. The guy who knows about all the time machine stuff you're doing in Akihabara in 2010. FG like future gadget, you I see? I suppose it could be, but. Check out the rest. Does that remind anyone of anything? Second edition version 2.31. Okay, it says future gadget 204 second edition version 2.31. It's a gadget name. Mm -hmm. That padded naming style. <laughs> oh wow. That wasn't Yeah, that wasn't what she was expecting. Uh, I guess you got to call me Big Daddy from now on. No. Are you serious? <laughs> God, no. Gonna be kind of tough, because I already am proud of you. Aww. I have to know. Your mother was she smoking hot? <laughs> Short, baby-faced, huge rack. Am I in the ball? Oh my god! You're talking to your daughter. <laughs> I'm keeping that one to myself. I won't see it. Make it a good future, yeah? Is that why um, they have the IBM like computer in the first place? Old lady. You better recognize me when I'm 35 years older. <laughs> yeah. Is that why they have it in the temple? Because they were told to keep hold of it in that family? Is that Moika? Oh no, it's from her. Is it safe to be standing there? She's gone. You mean I might get to meet my own great grandkids while I'm still young enough to enjoy them? You better spoil them like crazy. That's what great grandpas are for. Uh oh. <laughs> that could be Moika. Now it's the guy downstairs. Yeah, his assistant's gone missing. Suzu. Do you really think it's from her? Wait a sec. She changed her name. To us? I had letters from a woman who did me a favor once upon a time. She told me to pass it along to you, but only on this exact day. And this woman, where is she now? A better place. <laughs> oh, she's dead. I failed. I failed. I failed. I failed. I failed. I only had to do one thing and I failed. 
I failed. I How? failed. I only remembered the truth of who I am a year ago. Oh, oh she lost her memory? Everything that happened before 1975 was just gone. Who stopped me from giving up and heading to 1975? So I stayed. And the storm that night damaged the time machine in ways we never found. Oh, no. If you can turn back time, I ask that you not stop me that night. Or you could go back and undo the damage. A waste. Can you tell me how Hashida Suzu died? Did she kill herself? How the hell do you care? Please, sir, this is important. I'll beg if I have to. Talking about the whole thing still eats at me. She killed herself. <laughs> yeah. Hanged herself in her house one day. I have to. Don't you see what'll happen? She'll never know who her father was if you send that message. I have to! I won't see it, but make it a good future, mm. yeah? It's the whole world at stake. Ogarine! Oh, the divergence meter moved. Suzu, huh? Wasn't expecting that. I mean, he could still so go and I'm catch sure her. You knew her? Yeah. And tell her who her dad is. I hope. Passed but still let her go. Ten years ago, give or take. She just smiled that easy smile of hers and said, Everybody needs a hand at some point or another. That's how life works. So just make sure you're ready to lend a hand yourself when your number comes. He up. can't undo it, I don't think. Is she not there anymore? Oh, yeah, give me a sec. Went up. It's higher. It's getting closer to one. Still under one percent. But that means nobody's called in a bomb threat. Yeah. Mayuri. Does that save Mayuri? She's there. She's alive. So does this save her? Yuri's phone was going nuts a bit earlier. It's Sorry gone. If that was you, man. I hollered for her to wake up, you know, but no dice. So some kind of an effect that's is the change in the timeline like exhausted her. Did we change the world enough? Is Mayuri going to live? Damn. Yes, yeah, so I was. I was right on the money. Um, and definitely after seeing the name of the time machine. Um, you know, future gadget number 204, whatever. Uh, it definitely clued me into the idea that it either was Daru or um, Okabe. And it was, it was a, the whole thing with the pin was a bit of a, a misleading, it was like a, a double fake out where the reason that he had it was because in her future, She'd had it probably from when he had had it made. I don't. It's it's almost like a paradox. The only reason that they had it made is because they previously known that it was made. You know. You know. Can you understand what I'm trying to say? I think so. Time travel is very confusing. Um, but I think the overall message there was that Sousa her is not coming back in any way, shape, or form. Even if Ogabe tries to go back. And stop her from, you know, time traveling to 1975 after they fixed the time machine. I think she's gone for good now. What he's changed is the circumstances surrounding her death. Um, whether she retained any of her, more of her memory, you know, longer than just the one year um, than she had on the original timeline. I'm not sure. Maybe that was enough. Maybe him... Going back was enough to shift it to where she regained her memory a lot sooner and was able to complete in some way the mission that she'd set herself. And that has caused CERN to not now hunt everyone down. Um, you know, it's something's definitely changed because we've seen that the divergence uh, meter has gone up 
Um, but it's just a question of was it enough? What was it exactly that changed? But I think this episode was kind of like, okay, you give away a life. You take a life for a life. So we've given Sousa her to keep Mayuri. And, you know, it's an interesting concept, you know, that Mayuri's not at fret for the time being. Um, but we had to lose Sousa as a result of that. So, um, you know, it was a very good episode. Very good episode. It was still weird seeing Daru trying to be a bit creepish with his knowing that she was his daughter. Um, and the story with the shopkeeper um, was, again, very interesting. You know, he, he knew Sousa her both before and after, like when she was old and when she was young. Um, and it must must have been weird. I mean, Sousa her was alive in 2010 when her previous self was dead. She could have gone to her own grave. That's that's something that's very creepy. But you know, she obviously, I mean, she obviously felt bad that she'd failed. But the circumstances were out of her control. Um, you know, I'm assuming that the lightning storm did damage in ways that they couldn't detect. Um, because, you know, they were fairly certain that they had fixed it, but who knows? Um, very interesting episode though. Again, kind of like a goodbye episode, I think. And just to show us that, you know what, with the right decisions that you make, you can change time, you know? So yeah. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that and I will see you for the next one.